Before we go on to discuss other things that I consider very important for us to start building applications, I wanted us to talk about um, string formatting and some other things we can do with strings and some other methods that we can apply to strings because it's very important for what we're going to be building next. And so let's talk about string formatting first. So string formatting basically allows you to um, decide how you want your string strings to be printed out. It's not something very elaborate, but it's very useful most of the time when you work with um, Python. So let's start with a variable. Uh, let's start with name and say Mike. So I can print out Mike, of course, this way, like you have already learned. However, I can also do something like is name is and then add name to it. Of course, you've already learned this, but let's print it out just to be sure that it runs properly. And you see that there. However, another way I can do this is to use what is called string formatting and say, add a string here. Let's try to run this. And it gives me its name is that. That's because I'm missing a very key component, which is I'm supposed to tell the um, print statement where to get that string from. So what I'm going to do is to add this name right here. So this is saying, fill in this S um, formatting here with the name here. So let's run this again. And I get his name is Mike. So let's add another variable, age, and say Mike is um, 55 uh, years old. And then right here, and he is um, D. Now, the reason why I'm using S here is because this is a string, like you know already. So string s and then number is d or digit. So that's why I have d here. Now what I'm, I need to do is to specify where the other variable is coming from, which is age. And so when I run this now, I get his name is Mike and he is 55. Well, I mean, I'm missing something, obviously. So 55 years old. Uh, that's not really important, but it just completes the sentence. So yeah, that's that's basic. You need to know about string formatting. Of course, you can apply this to a list. So let's say sample list is um Mike Love Dove. Okay, we can print um some text. I mean, I'm getting tired of. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I would use, I'll print them out as a string. This also works. I just want to show you that this also works uh, with list. So that's what you have right there. All right, so let's talk about other methods that you can apply to a, um, a string. So let's comment all this out. So the first thing I want to talk about is, imagine you want to know the length of a string. How would you do that? Use a keyword, len, which gives you the length of a string. So let's have a string here, um, string, to be equal to, I am a string. This is going to be what we'll be using for the duration of this method. So let's call the string method discussion, okay? Now, to know the length of a string, let's print out len string. And see what we get. And you see it says 13. That's because we have 13 there. It's also probably it's definitely counts the spaces too. So let's say one, two, three, four. Or you know what? I'm going to use something easier to um, count. So string two to be equal to Mike. Obviously, this is four. So let's bring string two, the length of string two. And we get four. So basically, then if I had um, a space, so I, I expect it to be six now. So I get six now. So basically, that's how to get the length of a string. Another thing I can do is to get the position of a particular letter in a string. So let's do that for string, uh, for the first string, and say the index. That's you remember when we talk about lists. List has an index in them, which is basically the position of each item in the list. 
And so index here too also defines the position of each of these letters in the string. So let's do this for string two because it's easier to count. So if I wanted to find the position of, I wonder why I'm getting this error. Okay, I need to add the argument here, that's fine. Uh, if I want to find the position of E in this string, I had E here, and then it gives me uh, the position of that E, which is the third index, and you know why? Because M is zero index, I is I am um, one index, K is two index, and E is third index, which is why we have this. So that's for uh, getting the, the position of a string. Another thing I can do is to get the count of a particular string inside another string. So let's see what happens. I expect to get one. And I get one. So let's do for A in this string one, in this first string. Let's do for A. I get uh, I get two. That's because I have two there. So basically that's how you count the um, a particular character in a string. Let's see if I can use it for something like Mike in string two. So let's run this. And I get one. That's because there is one that matches this that I have here. But what if I try to count something that doesn't exist in the string, like say A in string two. So let's run that and I get zero. Can I also count space? Let's try this and I get seven. Okay, so this is not a space. This is just, uh, I need to add space in between. So, and I get one. That's because I have just one space here. Now, the reason why this returned seven is basically going to be um, returning, I think returning all the characters that I can find in that string. Um, so one, two, three, four, five, six. I wonder why it's seven, maybe it returns this too. But anyway, that's not really important. I don't, I don't know if you would ever need to use this, but you can also find out why it's returning seven um, for this. All right, so that's how to count the string that we have. So there's another thing I, I need to show you here. Say I want to print out some aspect of this particular string. So I can do something like, say a substring, a substring, I can do something like um, six. Let me just show you what happens when I do this. I get AM and A. So this is starting from index one and ending at index six. So let's see how that happened. Index one, index zero as I, which is um, the first one here. Index one is a space, which is why you see that space that appears right before the A here. And then it takes everything from this space here up to the sixth index, which is this here and possibly the space too. So um, one, two, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, yes, and the space there. So you can see that space. If I made it seven, then you will be able to see um, the space in between there. Do I have double space? Uh, let's see. Yes, I do. I have double space somewhere. Okay, so you get the point. Um, that is how to return that.